what's up guys <laughs> not much my way you know what just that time of the day again it's not like i'm gonna say that time of the month again but i don't have that issue yeah so we're gonna get right into this i just want to do a quick face so my face is not hanging out in my next video okay so we're gonna start right out here pour this putty primer by off If she would have just looked for that, she'd have found it. A little, it needs cleaned a little bit. Now that we've wet this, this is just the Hey Honey Trick or Treat CC Active Moisturizing Cream with honey and propolis. It's light to medium. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I actually got to choose this. Always either too dark or not dark enough. <laughs> like she cannot color correct. All right, I'm just gonna pat this in. So hey, you guys like my hair? Extra weird today. Um, I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Lift in a Tube Concealer. No, no, it's not matter to me because I don't know. It was pretty good coverage with CC cream. I'm gonna put this on and it's in the color. Right. This foundation brush and rub it in. I'm coming in. Under the sea, it's always better where it is better. Take it from me. All right, now that we are baked, I mean, we're baked, not half baked, whole baked. We're gonna contour our pretty face. And we're using the photo face by Ardell. it with the pattern. That's your nose. All right, I'm just getting it rubbed in a little. We don't have to do it on the way because we can finish that when we're done. A few people were asking me about this daily brush cleaner. People were asking me, you know, how does that work? Or let me know how it works. I just want to tell you guys that it does work good. I wouldn't suggest you use it on like a real dirty brush i mean you can use it on a real dirty brush but it's not going to get it all the way clean so if you clean your brushes first and then use it after you've only used them once it works much much better that's how i would suggest it to be used just a tip but i did like it very much i 
kind of was like a little rough with my brushes in the video. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. And I didn't want to put out there me being all rough with these brushes. Like, and people think that that's how you're supposed to be with your brushes. Because you really shouldn't be. And I really frayed one of my brushes. And I don't know why I did it. But, you know, crap happens, I guess. I'm going to take a little more of this and just hit this light spot right here. It's the Candid Revlon Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. I really like this. I'm going to blend the contour better. NYX Professional Makeup. Just going to use this little brush. Is that it? Powder brush. Now, I'm going to be using my contour brush just to blend her in. Oh, and this is that brand. Focus. No, that's for the top camera. A little bit of bronzer. This is City Bronzer and Contour Powder in the shade 100. I really should have got a little bit of a darker shade. I'm going to go right into my blush. I'm kind of using the stuff I got in my Ipsy bag. This is my little blush. It's Cytate London. I'm using a perfect 10 brush. Get a different brush. Because I feel like that one's like not setting it down. This is just like a hint of color. Okay, that looks pretty sun-kissed. I have this new highlighter. And this is, oh, look, I had brown around it. It's Catrice Luminous Highlighter. And here's what it looks like. This is pretty shimmery. Alright. Now I'm just going to take this little inverted brush and just smooth that in a little bit. That looks good. Looking good. To die. Mm -hmm. And guess what I'm doing? Blue. Abadi. Abadi. I'm going to start out with in my Sephora palette. Alright. And I'm going to Sephora. Okay. I'm going to start out with 31. If I didn't mention something, or like if I missed it, like you can ask me, and I will enlighten you. I feel like I look like glowy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take this unique fluffy crease brush, and I'm gonna go into number. 14. This little pale blue moment here. Into the socket. Now I'm going to go into this little 22 moment. Go right back into this white and just go over the white. That I did before. Mm -hmm. 
now that we look cheery and bright with our pale blue eyes, I'm just going to kind of blend it. And that, my friends, is what I'm looking for because I just went sheer all the way. Ooh, I get on my own nerves so much. All right, I'm going to use the white eyeliner. All right, and this is the NYX brand. My top line with black, just like tight liner. Gonna curl my lashes. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. Looks like it. <laughs> Holy, them lashes is popping. That is a false. Lash effect. I've never seen one. If you oh, do that, if you do what I just did, wait till it dries and then wipe it off. Yep. Pro tip. <laughs> we just brush through this guy. Before I get so much more of this on me, I'm gonna put it away. <laughs> I like my hair like this. I'm trying to do styles that are not damaging because <laughs> I've done enough damage. <laughs> okay, so I only spent 16 hours on my brows and this is the finished look. I don't trust these brows. Just FYI, I don't trust them. I think they're plotting against me. <laughs> they're kind of dark, but, you know, it is what it is. I done spent 70 hours on these brows, so this is what happens. This is what, this is what it is. End of story. Anita. Finished. Done. Okay, and I love you guys. Sorry you're not on the holder. And it's a little shaky, but my life's shaky. So, I hope everyone has a blessed and safe day, night, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. I love you. Stay, stay golden, bunny boy.